Okay, we are recasting the movie Home Alone. Who are oh you picking gosh. to pay to play Kevin McAllister? Oh my god, that's so good. Well, I can give you guys some time to think. I'm gonna go Bukayo Saka. I feel like there's really only one answer to this. <laughs> it works because he already looks like a 12 year old boy, kind of in most <laughs> circumstances. And I feel like he would be like, "Oh no, I'm home alone." And like he he wakes up and he's obviously in like a five million dollar flat in a high rise in London. But I think he would be perfect. For if, we're, if we're going for like they look childish, I'm gonna go Brendan Johnson. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. as Kevin McAllister. Just because we he just, looks uh, young. Is it like them as kids? I'm assuming. No. <laughs> like, like, like if you had to pick a player that's now like like he's going to be cast as no Kevin you're gonna, you'd be looking at a 21 year old Bakayo Saka playing Kevin McAllister which again wouldn't be like the most far fetched thing. <laughs> Brennan Johnson's good for the young face though, maybe a little Harvey Elliott Connor mm, nah. bounding about with a man bun. <laughs> Kevin McAllister with a man bun. I wouldn't like that. Oh, no. not for me. Let me cook. Let me think. It, and, and think about I think about Madrid, Jay. Oh, I'm so a lot of the young oh, guns. Oh yeah, on Madrid. Do you have your the pro, the guy you always oh, send in the chat. Oh, 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 oh Arda, Arda <laughs> Guler. It is he recent perfect. sweater. Yeah, pick. it's always, the most, awkward, like it's always <laughs> the most awkward pictures of him. It's just his smile. I still don't think he's a real person. He looks uncomfortable. I, yeah, <laughs> everyone tells me that he exists, but I've just only seen photos of him. Well, think he's awkward. like the he's the only like Eastern European there. It's like a bunch of Brazilians, French yeah. people, and he's a Turkish like nineteen year old like. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't look nineteen though. I feel I like think he's I, like twenty. I looked like that awkward when I was like thirteen, <laughs> not not nineteen. Who's who's your Kevin McAllister? Maybe I I just match the last name and go Alexis McAllister. Yeah, because like when he when he starts to sweat, he's got like the rosy cheeks, you know. And when he goes out, I don't know. Yeah, like he's he, he's flush. He's very yeah, flush. He is he's, flush. he's also got an interesting like personality. Very jolly when you talk to him. But, I've never yeah. heard him speak. What does he sound very like? Happy. He's very go happy. Yeah, go he's, he's very, happy go lucky. Happy go lucky. Yeah, like absolutely. smile without his teeth, kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, funny. Yeah. It's yeah, weird, that's but true. it's funny. Um, I guess Joe Pesci, who's your Ooh. Marv, or not Marv? Who's the other one? So you go, you could go tandem here. Maybe think about it the teammate way, or think about two like opposites. Like I would maybe go. Oh, that's, see, that's really hard. I'm gonna go McGuire's Marv. McGuire's Marv. That yeah. would be a really good one. What are you doing, Marv? Uh, what about who's who's Pesci's character? Lissandro. I mean, who's, that, Pesci, who's Pesci's character? That would be pretty funny. I think. That would be. I think if you went Lissandro McGuire as yeah, like the two bums who try to break into the house. Yeah. And little Arda yeah. Guler is just beating their ass the entire time. So I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Martinez. Okay, this, yeah. the 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 United center back. Yeah, pairing? like so that's your pairing because Joe Pesci in Home Alone is a little bit more smart. Like he's smarter. Like he's always like, "No, you idiot!" Like yeah. that's kind of Lissandro for. Yeah, I guess I need I'm going. Uh, I'm going Lewis Dunk and uh, oh, Tarkowski. That's cool. oh, that's actually a good one. I like that oh, one man. because they look extremely <laughs> English too. So. I would say Romero. No, that would be maybe a little bit too terrifying. Arno would like, die. Yeah. yeah, he like <laughs> kicks be, the uh, front door open, and all of a sudden you're like, "Am I watching a horror movie?" <laughs> yeah, turn should I be actually flick. afraid? <laughs> afraid for <laughs> immediately slide tackles into him. Um, yeah, I would go Romero as as the muscle, and then I would go honestly like I'd go Poro is like the because Poro's pretty energetic, and I feel like he'd be running around the house getting. Hit in the head by all these straps. He's like, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 like exactly. What a, what a gun. He would get like the top of his hair burned off. While Romero is genuinely, again, terrifying and the looming figure walking about the house. The wet bandits. Who are your wet bandits? Yeah, who are you one I would pick. <laughs> the sticky bandits. I don't know. Sticky I would, bandits. I would probably pick Anthony Gordon as one because I think he's kind of that like, is shit. hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Sir. yeah. Yeah, it could be a little bummy at times. <laughs> a bit dodgy, ain't it? Who? <laughs> Stodgy. Who could be the next one? Abdullah Dukor. You do. You have to match him up with Trippier. Oh, yeah. 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 It's funniest to do it by team. I feel like that would yeah. be... Oh, Jay, I liked yours. Would you say you said Lewis Duncan? Who else? Tarkowski. Oh, oh, Everton. Yeah. Uh, That's Brian, good. But still. Yeah, true. You got, I mean, Same Dan colors. Byrne. Dan Byrne would be a funny pick. I could see an iron hitting that guy in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all. This is this is a, this is a great question. I like yeah. yeah, and then there's obviously the rest of his extended family, many of whom seem quite not not great to be around around the holidays. They're all making fun of him. And then there's that. Remember his uncle? Yeah, his concerts cheap, are cheap as hell. Yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. like, oh, traveler tracks. That's, that's so my like, fa- my favorite scene is when uh, he goes, "You better not mess this up for me, you little twerp." And then he goes, "Oh, we want to mess your vacation up, uh, Mister Cheapskate." <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite scene. <laughs> That's uh, the guy who goes, look what you did, you little jerk. Yeah. 
Who's the neighbor? Who's the scary neighbor who you think is a Evil. murderer, but then they meet in church? That scene always makes me cry every single year. Oh, There's no. one movie scene, dude, that makes me really com- like lose composure. It's when he goes up to Kevin and they like meet and have that conversation. Where he's yeah, like, at the church. He's like, you don't need to be afraid of me. You can say hello when you see me. <laughs> and they talk about their family history. Basically, who's the scariest looking guy who's really nice? I haven't seen those um, movies in so long. Hoy Beard. I know. See, Hoiberg I picked Hoiberg to to beat uh, Alexander. He's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not a scary looking guy. No, you'd have to go older. Maybe Roy Keane. So, you could go <laughs> manager. Roy Keane. Yeah. I think Arteta's pretty intimidating. I mean, he's like handsome, so he's not bad looking, but he's scary looking. I'd say Eric Eric Ten Hag has the most look alike to him. Yeah, so that's probably true. Him. Yeah, I'd go Ten Hag. Ten Hag. I'll go Arteta. Mm. Well, that's the Christmas episode, folks. It's good to be here. Good to have our, what is this, our third annual Christmas episode? I think so. Yeah, Let's is. kick it off, huh? Kick it off. Man, oh, man. Jay has an improvised crack as he cracked his beer already. But. I mean, beer is always delicious, <clears throat> but around the holidays, it really just... And Slaps. and to that, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, everybody, to the Howlers Podcast from the Howlers Podcast. Cheers around. Yeah, we well, have Happy Holidays to you it. and yours. A cheers over the Roadcaster. Oh, what is this? Our four? Connor's bringing a full fourth bottle of third, something. third or fourth <laughs> Christmas. I want to say third. This is our. Th- this is our. Th- no, it would our be. Fourth. It would be our fourth. It's our fourth. Are you one. sure? No Wait, no, it's our third. It's our I third. Say it's year three. We're getting old, guys. We are getting old. Well, it's season four. Year. No, it's season four. As you can tell, we've really sorted this out yeah. as the years have gone by. Well, this is technically episode, like, what, 189, 190? Yeah. That, we do know the exact number of episodes, but, uh, but yeah, it's yeah. awesome it to be blurs. here. Obviously, it's a fun little tradition, and as is customary, we have some bevs brought to you. It's yeah. a, it's oh a trillium-themed uh, <laughs> oh my god, it's a trillium <laughs> themed bet lineup tonight. Connor, tell me about what you're drinking at the end of the table. looks good. Oil. That stupid glass We're again. drinking yeah. oil. Uh, yeah, the... Glass that Andrew can't pour into, and because he spills too often. It's but the thinnest wow. glass. Yeah, we are drinking uh, Trillium, courtesy of our Welsh delivery boy, That's Tristan. Right. That's so me. <laughs> he was jolly skipping over here, and he brought quite the treat. I'm drinking night and day an Imperial Stout with cold brewed coffee. Mm. It is the same color as my sweatshirt, which is black. Jet and, black. Uh, Oh, it smells really like chocolatey, and I'm not really a stout guy, but this is one that Tristan poured me at his apartment some time ago. It was probably last holiday. Yeah, I think it was last and, year. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's classy I pick, that. honestly. Surely flipped a switch on me. You know, so. I didn't. Pa- I didn't. I didn't think you'd go stout. I didn't think you'd go with the bottle room, but I was that. like, respect. Yeah, Can I try that. Probably earthy know, and hearty. Jay, oh, no, no sip for you? It's, it's no. a dessert. It, it is a dessert. I don't, I don't fuck with stouts. Can it's you like, taste the cold brew? I can smell oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's like chocolatey coffee. Let me get, let me get a quick hit of that. Without the... A lot of times when I drink stouts, though, it's like too much beer. This one actually tastes like the flavor profile that you read. You know what I mean? That, that tastes good. Oh, I think Jalen so would good. like it, but... I'm also it's really up. earthy and... Drink it. And sensual. It's funny how like taste buds. Work. Like <laughs> we're gonna need to take a, a pause here to give yeah, Tristan yeah, yeah. a moment. Funny how the taste buds just like I, I taste it. I'm like, yeah, it tastes good. And Tristan's like, mm. I break out earthy and sensual. <laughs> um, yeah, it's delicious. Jay, what did you pick? Uh, I got the Melcher Street IPA, seven point two percent, which is pretty high. I would assume. Right? That's pretty high. Yeah. Nothing yeah, compared to this. For eleven IPA. and a half, though. Yeah, Connor's rocking eleven half at the end of the table. My can's smaller. <laughs> 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 well, you know. <laughs> wow! In this episode, we're going to be just dragging Connor out of this chair. <laughs> um, I'm drinking the Pilsner. Mm. Um, just I'm, called Pilsner, too. Yeah, just called Pilsner. Pilsner. Yeah. I, I like how simple that is. Pilsner. I, I like the can art, too. I like how it's like the area in uh, the seaport where Trillium mm-hmm. is located. But I've been on a Pilsner kick. Mine's better. We haven't had beer on the podcast for a while. It's been a while. Yeah, it and, has been a while. Um, we haven't cracked in like probably 30 or 40 episodes. Typically, we're all in bad places. That's why. We're just, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, it's too much. We t- all t- to stop. Typically, you'd see me with an IPA, but I think if I drank four IPAs tonight, I would probably crumble. So Yeah, your head would be, you'd be steaming in the morning. Yeah. It'd be a long Saturday Are, for you. Aren't you on two? This is Pilsner. Yeah. Number two. Oh, yeah, but, you know, there's four total. In the- What's stopping you? We're going to drink all four on this Fear. podcast. I'm just saying. like, I wouldn't <laughs> want to drink four IPAs. What are, you, what, are you, what are you, weak, man? I don't know. IPAs, they're heavy on me these days. I'm not going to lie. They wow, he's there. getting old, man. He's getting old. He's getting old. 
And Pilsner's I feel the like hangover, hangover, I think, is the worst hangover. Yeah, you honestly. feel like oh, absolute yeah, garbage. Yeah. So into my really? world, the pizz- Pilsners and lagers. Yeah. Yeah, Con- Connor, that was like three years ago you were drinking. Like, you were drinking I, ciders three years pretty ago. Pretty soon he'll be drinking ciders. That was really annoying when you were drinking ciders. That was really annoying. I almost I almost pulled the cider trigger just to make you guys laugh or angry. But, wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't have allowed it. I know. They had, they had, I uh, kicked you out of the chat. They did have seltzers, Jay. I was wondering yeah, if you maybe did. go for some of those because I've never tried Trillium seltzers and maybe they're pretty good. Those things probably go crazy. Wonder if those explode too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a lot of fun questions. Hey, what are tonight. you drinking? Oh, yeah. sorry. You're right. Oh, me. Well, just uh, <laughs> daily serving. Plan that. <laughs> yeah, for real. Daily serving with blood orange, mango, and pineapple. This was their Halloween beer they came out with. So it's like a matte black can. Yeah, kind of spooky looking. Yeah, the beer is really good, though. I might have had two during Tottenham, but. Who knows? We'll never know. There's literally two <laughs> cans just out of frame. You can't right tell. That, yeah, that's okay. I'll spill there the beans. may or may not be two. Look, Spurs were, they got the dub today. I was excited about it. I figured I'd get started early, and here we are. Yeah. Well, I can get my stomach pumped. Just <laughs> um, a lot of fun questions tonight. Figured I'd just kind of could do some, some fun Christmas-themed questions. Obviously, we started with the Home Alone one, some recasting. Uh, Santa is hand-delivering you. Coming down the chimney, hand delivering you a signed kit, any kit of your choosing, any player of your choosing. So tell me which kit you're picking, who's which player it is, and obviously again it'll be signed. So you could choose to wear it, you could choose to frame it, and think about it like what's who's your favorite all time player. I mean, like again, you could literally pick Pele. He's Santa. He's magic. He can get any kit that you could even ever dream Just of. Just a mystical so. tale. <laughs> Does any jump out at you right now? Like you'd have to. You can think about it from the resale standpoint, or you can think about it just from... I have mine. I have mine. I have mine. Okay, oh, damn. Oh. I don't even have mine yet, so please oh, indulge no. me. Connor, you go, we'll go this way. I would go... Just an end. Uh, Ronaldinho AC Milan kit. Oh, with the baggy sleeves. That one? Yeah. Like the red? Just because of a... And it'd be signed. What's the exact kit? What's with the red and black? Red like and black, like one? traditional yeah. AC Milan. Mm-hmm. I would go that one. I mean, not his most successful, I don't think, stint, but just like the ultimate streetwear kit. My One of my personal favorite players, just because of the flair that he introduced to the game. That was a streets team, though. They had Pirlo, they had Beckham, they had Ronaldinho, yeah, just, they had Sadorf. It was just oh, an old those team, mo- though. Those Milan it was an kids. aging squad. <laughs> those, yeah, 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 they were mad. Those Milan I don't... kits, though. And he was number, what, 89 or? 80. 80, yeah. Yeah. So Who's the strikers? Was that like? That was Pato. Um, Thiago oh Silva was in the gosh. back line. Lost oh, in time, yeah. Pato. Young Thiago Silva. Oh, that's that would be, that Chelsea is a great, for you. it is like the yeah. ultimate streetwear kit. Yeah. You can really wear that with so many oh, outfits, yeah. too, and the, the, you can wear that out. I mean, not if it was signed, you wouldn't want to wear that it would, out. Yeah, that yeah. would probably add five points to my uh, out of 10 rating as a human if I were to wear yeah. that. Well, I think, I think the black and red, like that AC Milan years, like those years alone were just iconic, um, and especially Kaka, like that, those years, too. Yeah. Something about that kit and the colorway is just, to me, iconic. Italian football, too. Like oh, yeah. heritage, yeah, heritage, football so, heritage. This is football heritage. <laughs> Jalen, what are you going? What Jay's gonna say? Uh, no, I, I just had another one come to my mind, and now I'm split. I gotta think. Who are the two? Who are the two that you're thinking between? So I'm um, between the, I think was that was it 2000 or 2002? I'm going 2002 Zidane. <laughs> Ooh. The Galacticos. I think that's 2002. I could get the year wrong. And then I'm either going that or I'm going 2015, 2016 Neymar when he shaved his head. I th- oh, shit. Is oh, that 2015, yeah. 2016? No. Damn, you I go with a Barca kit? Oh, if it's Neymar, 100%. Yeah. You want to go OG Santos? I kind of get the it, The Santos though. kits are kind of crazy because, you know, the Brazilian leagues, they have the crazy. Ad- advertising. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like advertising. It's like Target. Which yeah. is fine. I, under- snack I, like, I understand. <laughs> I under- I see the vision. But, like, <laughs> I would definitely go that. He was, like, when Messi got injured that year, and it was, like, it was Messi and Suarez were injured. It was just him running the show, and they were just going off. Like, he was going off. Mm. I'd probably go to the Zidane one, though, because that he was... Would you frame one? it or would you wear it? One? I'd frame it. 100%. Frame it. Yeah. It was white. Uh, I, I don't think it was white and gold. I think it was white and purple. I think the yeah. stripes were purple. Real Madrid does layer those purple in. I guess, too, the fact that the kit is signed does sort of eliminate the option of wearing it out. You could wear a signed kit out, but you really do play a dangerous I would game when you. <laughs> I'd you wear it, especially if they're signed by legends like that. True, yeah. I'd wear it out. So I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Like, go home. I'd wear it out, and then I'd be like, oh my God, is that Zidane right there? And I'd be like, 
Uh, <laughs> some bro spills like porter all over. Oh my God. Oh. Excuse me, bro. I got to get to the bathroom. I, oh, I think I got you there. I'm in a holding cell with my signed jersey. It's like it was worth it. Yeah, yeah. that's all I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go 98, 99. David Beckham sharp kit um, for oh, Manchester yeah. United. That's the trouble winning season. I was gonna go Ronaldo, but I think what happened in the last two years, unfortunately, tarnished. I love Ronaldo. To me, is like. I, I put him above Messi, like personally, just because I love him and like the style of play, the how I looked up to him as a young player, and like as just like a, a kid. And um, but I think people forget about red or blue, red. People red. forget how tough, I think people forget how honestly. iconic David Beckham was. I because, definitely think people because forget he, how. because he's a celebrity. But like my God, that man behind a free kick, a corner, or just in general, like one v one and just decision making on the ball um, in like tight areas. I think he's. He was a bit. He, he was a bit quicker then too. Yeah, he, yeah. He easily one of the most technical players to ever grace the pitch. And to me, him and Manchester United are like synonymous. Like with one yeah, another. they're literally just one. His and passing range too. I always felt went way under the crazy. radar too. And he's but. had some insane goals at United, especially that halfway line goal. And to me, I just think that former I mean, uh, Real Madrid player. Yeah, former Real Madrid player. Former but to just considering his history with the club, his love for the club, and just my love for like him as a player, I think. To me, would be the one jersey I'd want. If I Did you guys watch that docu series? No, I've not seen I it yet. I, I don't really it. want to watch it. It's pretty a lot. Good. As I, I heard, it's I heard it's good. I don't like. I don't it's not good like, things. It's not as much football. Like it's more. That's what I mean. I don't want. Oh, football, so. gotcha. It's too like I don't really care about his personal. Life. But it's kind of cool. But it, but it ties into his football life. Yeah. as to why it was so hard though. And it almost like I I would say I only saw like the first few episodes. I would say it like does put a good emphasis on how he impacted and changed the game to a degree. Oh, Andrew, like, you no, got to check that out. I know, but from, Watch that from I, I know, but I like, I know all those things, not to the depths of what the documentary gets into. I just would prefer it in a, like a movie. I like doc, like movies. Are Who like would doc- play David Beckham? No, Zach, Zach no, 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 like, a, yeah. like, Zach no, yeah. like a docu-series, like not a docu-series, like a documentary, like movie, yeah. Yeah. an actual uh, movie. Give me, oh, give me 90 right. minutes. You, you right, take, right. you take all those episodes and you put it into, yeah, it does get a little, dry. an hour and a half to two hours. Zach Efron is David Beckham. That holds the water. whole reason they take oh, the whole, the whole reason they take fit picks now is because of David Beckham. That's yeah, true. Exactly. That's yeah. I mean, it might also be the reason they simp because David Beckham was quite in love. Back Plus, he, he was flying. I heard that he was yes. he was flying like uh, like he would fly out night of night of and come back the next day, yeah. next morning. Insane to spend like an hour. I saw that with clip. With I saw, Victoria. <laughs> I saw that clip when um, he got rang up by Sir Alex, and he yeah. was like, well, he was on the that show with like Roy Keane, Jamie Carragher, and all them, and. Sir Alex is like, you're in Madrid or whatever in Barcelona. And he goes, no, I'm like, I'm not, I'm at my house or whatever. And Sir Alex was like, no, you're there. And like, that's kind of when the, the falling out happened was mm-hmm. because of his relationship. And mm-hmm. Sir Alex was just like putting him on, like basically uh, interrogating him where he was. And he's like, no, I'm not there. I'm, I'm home. I'm actually home this time or something like that. Yeah. Maybe he was lying. I don't know. I didn't see, I probably but, didn't see that. Far. But I saw guy that. understands that by the way, if you don't understand why David Beckham did that, you've never really gone <laughs> crazy over. I think any yeah. guy can be like, yeah, if I had the means, I would have flown to hang out yeah. for an hour if I meant seeing her for an hour. He was yeah. probably After like, my Ibiza, like, no, I'm home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was like, a, he was somewhere where just put my yeah. kid to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I would probably go Pele, New York Cosmos. Wow. Uh, I like that one. Wow. That's, I think, yeah. look, to be selfish, the resale value on that is silly, by the way. That becomes <laughs> an artifact. That's hitting, that's hitting Bart's Bees or Brick's Bees, whatever the hell that place is called the next day. I don't know what that auctioning company, if, Sotheby's, that's what it's Sotheby's. called. Sotheby's. <laughs> <laughs> Bart's Bees, Brick's Bees. Um, yeah, I'd go uh, Pele, New York Cosmos. I also think the connection to U.S. soccer there is very cool. There's like the, sure. he did spend a very brief amount of time there, but I think that's kind of what I think is cool about football and players' careers when you look is that like different tenures at different clubs and obviously different tenures meant different things to them, but that smidgen of time that he was with New York Cosmos, I feel like it kind of... If you look at like the older players from that like generation, like they they, they all had like at least like a six month stop in the U S yeah. where they were just like, so yeah. well, like, especially cause Cosmos no longer is that relevant. That makes that kit way more iconic mm-hmm. and way more like, no one has, no, there's no yeah. way anyone has that. No, no, like, yeah, there's no way. Unless yeah. they ripped it off his back. Like I'm pretty sure the Cosmos <laughs> playing like time. pretty sure Cosmos playing like MPSL. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Cool. It would my, be cool to see MLS. My Cosmo. uncle that I just got back from visiting saw mm-hmm. Pele in New York. 
when he really? was playing for the Cosmos. Yeah, he saw him on the street. Yeah, that's he was also incredibly making, cool. He was making insane money there. He's making like a million dollars a year. Pretty At sure. that time, wow. like, how are they even paying? What was that? Eighteen well, fifty. That's when like a house. <laughs> yeah. The, house NAS, the NASL like 10 was like grand. the NASL was the biggest league in America. True. And he was the biggest player in the world then. I'm pretty sure he's getting paid like in the millions. That's so. Nice. I was trying to think too because like my close second because I was thinking about when the MLS first kicked off and there was like eight sides like the original eight MLS sides like Tampa Bay Mutiny would be a very good pick for that like San, the Dallas burn San Jose clash Kansas City whiz those would all be very cool kits as well I just couldn't think who was the very famous MLS defender he had like an afro kind of he had like a blonde big afro he was a keeper I think he played in the MLS in the very early stages of when it came out we might not be able to think of the name and then uh, in post we can I can confirm the pay and then I'll look that up oh tell me but he was he signed a three-year contract with Warner Communications owned soccer club New York Cosmos and got paid four point seven five million dollars. You know what's crazy yeah. about that oh is my that it, God. I understand like, with the wording with that. It sounds like he didn't get paid by the club. Like, he literally got paid by. Warner. It's like kind of like Messi. Kind of like Messi. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. yeah. He kind of pulled a Messi like before an Apple Messi TV did. Deal. Yeah, because yeah. that was the thing. I think most of Messi's money didn't actually. The MLS was like, listen, obviously we can't pay you, but Apple they can. They're, they're good for it, <laughs> and we're close. We know them real well. Yeah. They're Good friend of ours. Who was the guy that you were looking for? Um, it's like Carrasco or not Compost. Are you saying? Is, is did he have a big afro? I don't. I don't remember. Was it the guy. goalkeeper? You yeah, said? yeah, 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 yeah. Like a good goal. He was an MLS goalkeeper with a big, like a big blonde afro. He had a very like. He had all these crazy kits and all this crazy gear. He had like a very oh, cold. Yes, cold it's, it's, uh, it's Carlos Valde Valderrama. Valderrama. That's sure? what, he that's was. A, he was is. a midfielder though. Oh, okay. okay, not a keeper. Yeah, I don't he know what Colombian. I was thinking. Yeah, one close. of the look at oh man, he is a dope dude. One of the OG MLS All Star guys. Who did he play for back then? Um, I he, think San Jose or Tampa Bay was it? Dude, that's a dude. He played Tampa for, Bay Mutiny. That's a sick ass name. Yeah, God damn, what one a mean? very very cool throwback. He, club. T- he played for Tampa, so he played for Tampa Bay Mutiny. He, oh, the he was there for well, Miami uh, Fusion right. and then Colorado Rapids. Yeah, that's right. He was there for a minute. Huh? That's right. Wow. He was, he was like, yeah, he was down from South America. Most of his career, to, I think, was yeah, 1995 all the way to 2002. His appearances are the crazy. US. They're so low. He's just so yeah, crazy. Yeah, he's got some. I mean, that's a cold player. But he's right like, there, a, he's like iconic. I'm, yeah, yeah. The old, the original MLS kits were all very, very cool, and I, th- those are still laying around in various. When I was in Kansas City, there was like a vintage sports store, and they had some whiz stuff there, but no like actual mm. kits that I could actually find. But yeah. really, really cool stuff. That's wild. I'm gonna say a player's name. I want you to tell me one thing that they have on their Christmas list. This isn't like rapid fire. Feel free to think about it for a sec. But is this is this items or like a soccer? This skill? could be both. Use your imagination. If you think they they have bad hair and need a comb, say a comb. If you think they <laughs> need some goals, say a better right foot. Uh, <laughs> Mikhailo Mudrik. What do you think he has on his Christmas list? I would say tattoo remover. <laughs> I don't um, think he'd ever admit this, but I think he would look at some of his down. tattoos and go, a few of these I think I'm going to get taken off my face. I'd say um, the opportunity to redo his like to redo his decision. or Jaden Sancho? Yeah, like what's a, go back in time. Yeah, a, he wants a time machine. Time machine. is what you're saying. Time <laughs> he wants a time machine to go back in time yeah. and what, stay at uh, Dortmund or go to Chelsea. Mudrick? Uh, oh, you're talking about Mudrik. I yeah. thought you meant Sancho that whole oh, we, time. No, I'm talking about the players. You, no, oh, Mudrik. I don't even know I, why I brought that up. Mudrik, <laughs> I, I think 15 <laughs> beers already today. Sorry. Yeah, Mudrik. I think he'd want a time machine because I don't think he'd. Damn, I don't think, think he the likes the way. Where do you think he would go? He'd stay and he'd stay at uh, Shakhtar. Okay, wants a time machine. I said tattoo remover. I let, our minds are on different points of the spectrum here. Jay, uh, ring light. <laughs> love it for sick talks. I love it. Yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, I, th- I think he would oh, probably has quite a few. But maybe some, maybe the color he doesn't have yet compliments his skin. Oh, this is tough. I'd probably say a new barber. New barber. I think he yeah. could be better with the cut. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I don't think I think he likes his cut. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. <laughs> I also think he likes his paycheck at Chelsea. So. Yeah, I get <laughs> it. I think with the, t- with, with the tattoos, you should. 
the legal age Touché. for getting a tattoo should be 35 years old because that's Tattoo's when you're actually definitely. sure when you want to have something on your body. But he probably thought they were like the washcloth tattoos you that the, you hold on and, yeah. and they feel It's kind of hurts. Have you seen the Academy player for United, the New York Norwegian? Oh, but he's got one under his chin, the dude. Nor, the Norwegian kid that, I guess he, well, so they were like saying that's crazy, but I guess he's nasty. Like he's like one of the best like mm. Norwegian coming up. Yeah, but he's coming like, at United though. The but tattoo like, under the chin he, he is has not two stupid. full arm sleeves, two full leg sleeves, and he has neck tattoos, and he just got one under oh. his chin. Dude, dude, what does it crazy. feel like when they're just drilling into your cheekbone, dude? That cannot feel oh. good. It's a weird place to get a tattoo. Right? It is. Yeah. Like, like, you can't really, like, well, you can't see it. You can't even see it in the mirror. Also, what if you grow a beard? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, get a shave all the time. Uh, no, like, I agree. Uh, Some people get, like, tattoos on their bare head, and I'm like, well, hair... You have to it's common consistently get one of those little yeah. things that I think those aren't really thought. The Norwegian decisions. guys are pretty uh, well shaven, though. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah, they're not growing. Like they're like hairless beers. in all the right spots. <laughs> 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 Yeah. So I've been told. <laughs> Richarlison, what's on Richarlison's Christmas list? Oof. Um, that's a good one. I I think hair dye starting spot starting spot. Harry Kane's so goal go. scoring ability. Harry Kane's right foot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. World Cup. World Cup. Oh, yeah. that's actually a really good because he's Brazilian and yeah, everything. Yeah, Brazil yeah. and the World Cup are like they're synonymous. Yeah. And they sold so. And they sold. Yeah. That's pretty good. A World Cup is definitely the best one on there. When is the next World Cup? I, I don't Two know. years, right? Three years? Right? It's here, right? The U.S., baby. I wonder if he gets selected put, for that team. Put in a bit for the USA, World Cup. USA. <laughs> yeah. We could win that one, I think. We're the favorites. Maybe. I don't know. I'd say overall. Onana. What's on Onana's Christmas list? Wait, wait. What are you getting? What's his name? Richarlison? Yeah. Hair dye. Oh. <laughs> he's actually had a few different hairstyles. I've liked all of them. He has the crazy high fade where there's only hair right on the very top part of your head. It's like a really, really high fade. I think that would really that would hurt the head. How high and tight he, he goes on this. He also needs that. tattoo remover to get the back tattoo of himself. Yeah, off. true. Onana, what does Onana oh. want? I mean, like I don't a want back to, line. I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. I'd say be, better defenders, better wingers. I don't know. I'd say a better system. New coach? Nah. It's a better system. Nah, he likes the coach. New international coach? Yeah. <laughs> He's like hated so badly. <laughs> I think he got brought back though, right? Um, he got kicked out during the World Cup. Did he not? He left. He, he left, left because yeah. they were just like, we don't, you, the coach was like, you don't play the way I want you to play. You're a dick. <laughs> and, <laughs> fucking dick. <laughs> He was like, "Well, I'm not going to change." They're like, "Okay, you can go." Damn, that's tough. I I would say a fresh start. I think uh, he wants to do over time machine. Yeah, he's had a lot of adversity. Or a break. You could say break. Like he catch a break. You know yeah, I mean? true. Since Ajax, yeah. he's had a lot of adversity. With He'll the be at Afcon. Thing. Right? Well, he, oh my god, that's he, right. He was taking steroids. He went to the. UCL I don't know fine. what happened. Peptides or something. He got he he got back for steroids. He had too steroids. many everything bagels. He got back for something that had to do with. That. Like PEDs, but I mean, what you say? He was in a UCL <laughs> final not even a year ago, so. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't, that's a really good, I like that one. Yeah. It's, since it, I assume there will be parts of this pod that get very silly oh boy. before it gets there, I do want to ask, looking back on this year, what was your guys' favorite thing we did as a podcast? Do you have a particular favorite moment, a proudest thing we did, a thing that you think came out the best? A particular episode, a particular game. I know it's hard. Could be well like being sprung individual, on you, but yeah, absolutely. Well, both, anything really. Like individual I do both. I want to do group. both. Do both. I'm gonna uh, do both. Okay. Um, I made an Olga Williams trailer, which I really liked. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really That's liked. right. It was sick. It was sick. Yeah, that was that a, a sick trailer. And then together, fuck. I think um, Vermont Green. Mm. Sorry, Jalen. I know. I mean. Couldn't make it, but I, know, I, have a, I have a tough work schedule. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it's, right. it's a work schedule. But I think I think the Vermont Green experience was very very cool and um, yeah, like yeah, I, I'd say that and the USL final were the two for sure group things. Yeah, I'll probably go. I'll probably go when we live stream the World Cup final. That was probably like edge of my seat. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, yeah that true. was. That was that was this summer, right? I'm not. Oh, it was a off season, but yeah. off season, like it was but like yeah. 
the irregular World Cup oh, format. Oh, fuck, it was mm. last year then. But that was like, but in it was our, like literally a year ago. Yeah. It was during this time. That wasn't I'd say you squeak. Yeah, that's, that's fair to that's squeak, squeak that in. That's squeak Crazy squeak. that we were watching, like, that the game was that insane, but that we were live for it. And we did watching, a good job. Watching every moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think was we, I here? Oh, yeah, it was all four of us. That was the craziest oh. World Cup final. <laughs> I, don't remember, I don't remember a bit of this. That was like <laughs> Mbappe had when, when Mbappe, when, the game. When Mbappe yeah. hit the half volley, I thought I was going to flip the table. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. Was, I, oh, my God. And I remember when we were watching, it was penalty. We were watching it was a Sunday, of, so you had to be here. Yeah. Yeah, you were de- it was definitely all four of us. Because yeah. um, at halftime, we took a break and went on the back porch. And then I put my coat on and then came back in. Must but I just had my coat on the entire <laughs> set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's one of the weird oh things gosh. I remember about that day was just sitting here having my coat on for some reason. Yeah, the fact that, that we were watching that game and it's like pretty widely known as one of the best games that's ever been played in the history of the oh, game. There's too many good moments. I'm so, I, I feel like I have moments I missed. I went, my, I went too fast. But either way, I don't regret it. Yeah, it was it was a, a good year. It definitely a good year for getting some content. Some people. I feel like. Do you have something that is on the tip of your tongue right now? Or are you still not sure? No, I'm still thinking a little. I, individually, it was the Drbian interview, the oh, sideline yeah. interview. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Because oh, yeah. that was really the only time in the last six or seven years I've used my journalism degree. So I was like. <laughs> At the time I was saying, they're like, oh, this is good. This is like something that you actually trained yourself to do and actually put time towards doing. So that was really cool. And it was also just, I think we were like timid about player interviews at that point. When the full time yeah, whistle blew at yeah. games we were at, we always felt a little bit they lost too. weird. Like, well, who can we talk to? What kind of, what can we do? Can we go on the field? And that was, I mean, shout out to Pat and Ferna for kind of setting that all up as well and making us feel more at home. But yeah, the DRB interview is, I think it went really well. You know what yeah, I mean? No, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> he did say, you know what I mean, 550,000 times. Um, we love you, Diarvin. Yeah, yeah. We I mean, shout out. MLS draft, super draft. I MLS know. draft. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> that was that was great. That was a lot of fun. And getting my t-shirt signed was. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, my God. Yeah. That, was, that was hilarious. Yeah. Still yeah. have that. Still, <laughs> I still wear the t-shirt sometimes, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I'm like, oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I forgot you got, you got it signed. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, and I'm in the moment, I'm like, I should have him sign the inside side of this so it's on the outside of the shirt that i just saw. what shirt is it it's just it was the vermont green like vermont sure yeah, shirt, yeah 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 so oh, yeah and of yeah. course then he like isn't it doesn't play for them anymore so it's like cl- classic nah, but he was he was a baller for them yeah that goal that we got on camera was sick oh, insane yeah. that was yeah. a forrest gump moment for you so i always oh, say yeah. andrew somehow <laughs> with the camera is finds himself in the middle of some of the crazier moments of every game that we've you just came around or you're like dude i got that i was like <laughs> damn he literally was running right at you celebrating after he scored that um, oh geez, knocking over beers. Yeah, yeah. For me, it was it was the the Gavork interview, but uh, you know everything, everything Charleston related was pretty cool too. And just honestly, overall, you said something to me pretty interesting a couple of years ago, and you were it's like how you measure success. And you're mm-hmm. like the fact that we are still at the after all this time, after all these episodes, still putting out regular content. I think is like in itself something that you can definitely call a yeah. A if victory. we if we wrapped up tomorrow, I'd be happy. Yeah, I like think I so have too. A, yeah, I wouldn't be like. Yeah. Plus, we've made some cool friends, you know. Some, oh, don't want to wrap up tomorrow. Yeah, I don't want to wrap up. And with that, folks, gets we're signing off. <laughs> like if I lost my voice, I couldn't do a podcast anymore. I'd be like, well, I did a lot. Yeah, yeah. we'd make you could still be behind the camera though. You'd make, That's true. You're like the 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 button guy. <laughs> I'm Jamie. Yeah, exactly. Pull <laughs> that up, guy. You're just pulling up your phone off screen, and we're just looking at stuff. Uh, okay, was that everybody? Did everybody no, say? Oh, Connor. I didn't really. I don't know. That's tough. Come on, anything Charleston related? I mean, I... Talking to Hunduala Buana? I was, like, I was the biggest fan of training, I think, that we got to, like, go see behind-the-scenes training of, like, professional football. Um, Kick around a little bit, like, juggle on on the training pitch. Like, that was probably one of my favorite moments. And also seeing a coach of the highest caliber, like, seeing Ben Pierman and his staff kind of run a training session in a playoff moment at like what the level was. I guess that's just where like my fascination of the game kind of kicks in. And I was just like obsessed with that, whatever not our training session that we caught and then got to like kick it back with the guys afterwards. That was one of my, uh, certainly my favorite moments, uh, this year. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That was a lot of fun catching yeah. training and feeling really weird at first. And then they all sort of were like, oh, what's up, guys? Dude, we like, started hitting yeah. crossbars. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Came out and kicking the ball around. Started trying a little bit too hard. Um, okay, so, reindeer. Who 
in the entire Premier League would you say is most simple? Like, if you were lining up a Premier League side as reindeer, would you have to pick three guys? Like, who's going to get you through the night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. you're delivering, get, like, there you can rely on these guys. They're and like, think about this anyway, who you want, but, like, who's similar to Rudolph, who's, like, a bright spot always, or somebody that's always firing on all cylinders, who's a steady guy in the middle, like a like a dasher or a prancer, or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> and then, like, a, like a Blitzen is kind of like a center back type guy, I would think. But okay. So, we'll go... I, Striker, midfielder. Yeah, 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 three. <clears throat> okay. Obviously, we know there's more than three reindeer, but just for the sake of this, I know who my lead guy is going to be. Who's your lead guy? My my Rudolph's going to be most a lot. I was I uh, knew you were going to say that. I yeah. mean, consistent, cheery, pacey. He'll he'll set the pace for the night, so I can get through all my stops. Right. Um, With time to spare. Yeah, and I'll have to think about the other two. But if you guys know your lead guy, my would, lead. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to go Gabriel Jesus. Doesn't score a lot, but mm. he's someone that is very, very, like, I mean, energized, leads the line, presses high, follows that system to a T. Um, and he, I think he brings a good vibe to any locker room he's in. Everyone's always had good things about him. So I'd go Sonny. Sonny would be my Rudolph because if you're going off joy, I feel like he almost runs exclusively on pure joy at times. Quite a joyful player. And always the bright spot, honestly. His post games are great. And I feel like Santa would be like, oh, this is just, you know, that's kind of how it is with this year with Ann. She's like, at least I can always count on Son to be in that front line and creating or scoring. So I would say Son would be my Rudolph. And I would be, yeah, that would that would be who I'd go with. Jay, so then you go Jay. the middle. Like, oh, Jay, yeah, who's, your, who's leading the way? I'm probably going Ollie Watkins. Ooh. Wow. I like oh, that's Watkins. sick. Yeah. He's, been unstoppable. He's got a good motor, too, for yeah, sure. Definitely the motor. I'm the, going Ollie Watkins. He's like that strong, anchor. built. Yeah. So we go to who's the, the middle reindeer. Now think about this is a guy who has to have good relationship with the reindeer in front of him and the reindeer behind him. Doesn't have to be a box to box midfielder, but that would be kind of a good comparison. So I think, think maybe you'd pick Jude on this one. Am I wrong? I was actually going to go James Milner. Hamas oh, Milner. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. Is that Brighton, right? Yeah. yeah. That's a, a man good that pick. spreads joy. Yeah. Through and through. De- Mr. De- reliable. Experienced. Yeah. Mr. Reliable. That's a good pick. I'm going to go uh, John McGinn. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That is engine to yeah. find. <laughs> yeah. I was going to go with the exact parallel to that. Uh, Jared Bowen. He's not your traditional midfielder. He obviously plays in a wide area, but I think just his versatility and yeah. his consistency. <laughs> Dude, I was going to say Basuma, but this man got a stray red today, and he's <laughs> out through February. I, it's like halfway through the trip, he kicks the reindeer in front of him, and then I get sent off, and I'm like, I got two fucking reindeer for the rest of the night. Wow. He So dependability is kind of a hit that you take if you put Basuma there, but yeah. it's the constant. I'm going Pat Sar. I'm going Pat Matar Sar. That's a guy who literally never stops running. Can we expect a third Tottenham player from Tristan? Oh, oh, I think we know who's <laughs> bringing up the, the bag. List. Yeah, let me go down. There's Eric a few Dyer. more. <laughs> <laughs> Dyer's in the bag. In the, Dyer's in the present bag. Dyer's yeah. shoveling coal into the furnace going, oh, I'm going, mate. <laughs> He's just got coal all over his face. <laughs> Only a few more. <laughs> um... Okay, and then who's leading the back? So now basically he's like a, a rock steady defender. This is uh, Tarkovsky would be my pick here. See, that's who I'll go. That's a good one. I know mine. I'm going Robbo. Guy can run for days. Engine. Outside from this collarbone issue. Or <laughs> he's been yeah, right. pretty damn reliable. So. Even though he's not playing at the moment, I'm going Tiago Silva. Yeah, pretty le- That would be, yeah, that would be good. Good leader. Carry a no. lot of presence. Nice and steady. I think maybe he'd, he'd have a good relationship with the coach, too, because this is the reindeer closest to Santa. And they have to so. listen, yeah. Yeah, right. So he's going to be right there. Santa's going to be shouting right in his ear. This is, like, really hard. I don't know. It's hard to think about it. Harry turns, you know, def- I'm not picking any United players. <laughs> I was going to say, what's your back line? <laughs> I refuse. Um, Defending-wise, I would probably go... Van de Ven's Who's fast. playing well right now? Fucking hell. Saliba. Saliba I was gonna would, say, yeah, Saliba. Just, I don't rate him. So. I, don't, I, I don't think he'd be the guy I want to. I like him, but he's. You could go outside back, too. You know what? I'll go one outside back for my club. I'll go Kaluk Shaw. Oh, no. Uh, I don't think you can do that. Dependable. He's going to pull up lame, dude. He can't last twenty uh 12 hour night, 24 hour night. If he's Bro, he was fit guy. all year last year. Oh, I don't know, man. And the year before that. <laughs> You're picking a lame, a lame deer. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't you pick You Ryan might have to put Rudiger. him down in midnight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
falls through a kid's window. We're going to start beefing with the other reindeers, even though they're on the yeah. same no, team. He's like, he's, I think Luke Shaw is the best, most level-headed player in the dressing room. He'd be the guy you'd want to... We don't know that, though. I think he is, dude. He's pretty. He's he's close with everybody. He's friends with like he and like he and Sokka apparently are really close. Like yeah. he has friends with like his job. Nikita. None of us like yeah, our but job. He gets it done. <laughs> None of us like our. <laughs> hey Connor, no one fucking likes their job. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay, let me go down the list here. Okay, naughty and nice list. This was something I was intrigued about too. You see, if any of you put Romero on the naughty list, I'm going to argue that you should <laughs> do that. But. Three players on the naughty list, three players on the nice list. So I can go first. And and this can be like a group, Actually, a group effort. We'll go, we'll come oh. to a group consensus of three. Jane Sancho's on the naughty list. Sancho on the naughty list. Getting a little bit of coal in his uh, <laughs> under the tree this Get year. More than I that. Would, yeah, I would say. Yeah, yeah I would say. Jane is getting evicted from <laughs> that in a loan spell. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll go, uh, I can agree with Sancho. <laughs> <laughs> we all agree on Sancho. We have to agree on yeah. two more. So we'll just okay, we Sancho. have to agree on them. Yeah. Yeah, Sancho. Sancho. I think Sancho would be up there. Okay, why would you want to put Romero on there? I feel like he'd be the obvious one. Who said Romero, though? You said Romero. I, well, I've been the only person to bring him up. <laughs> Isn't is that kind of self nominated? Yeah. You already know he's going to be Romero. <laughs> I'm like, one of you is going to say it at some point. Um, yeah, Romero, well, I guess it depends, honestly. Like, we're, <laughs> we're making a sub here. Tough way out. We yes. can pause it. Too. We can pause it too if we want. We can pause it to save the time. We can pause it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, take, it. we'll take a break. And we're back. Naughty list. Naughty do a little list. pee break. So we got one guy in the naughty list, right? Sancho. Sancho. Yeah, Sancho's definitely on the naughty list. <clears throat> and does that, I would uh, wager a nomination for me is Kai Havertz, Ooh. who, as this rep, is this guy who never does anything wrong, maybe like a more creative, not as hard-headed player. But And yet, anytime I see any scuffle happening, he's always in the midst of it. He's always right there doing that like headbutt thing that soccer players do where they're like look like they're trying to ki- not kiss each other but they both really want to it's when they're like <laughs> cramming their foreheads and it's always Kai Havertz doing that he's always in the middle of things and then everybody else comes into his to his aid but he seems to be the shit stir he does he have like, like a like, tendency to try to act like a bird or dinosaur after the Champions League final there's that weird clip of him like making oh yeah noises. he does that weird locker like, thing. I don't know yeah. I wouldn't put him on the night I wouldn't put him on the night list you know who I think also had Arteta oh well I would put Arteta. that's Connor's Oh, oh put, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Get him on there. I would put Arteta. Although <laughs> Mr. We, complainer himself. Recently, that just got rescinded. That Jurgen Klopp that him. should be on the fucking oh, Klopp. You just say that. Man. <laughs> what are you talking about? The guy's like, you should make like, jokes like that. I work hard. I do this. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> has problems, man. <laughs> yeah, man. We all have a congestion. We all know you're an Arteta fan. <laughs> oh, shit. I feel like No, I'm just, I'm just giving like, you got you got to understand that Klopp does that just as much as Arteta does. Richarlison would have been on the naughty list had he not scored some goals recently. I'll tell you that. He's kind of bailed himself you know what? out because he's also a player that loves to like. This is a hard list. Lean no, on no, him. Yeah, we actually have to do the good list. And I'll I, say this too. I'd probably go Casemiro. Yeah, Casemiro. Casemiro. What did he do? Dude, he gets it, like 12 red cards a yeah, season. By that dude, standard, if it's the, Casemiro, it has to be Romero. I know I've been literally the only person to bring We're doing Romero. We're not doing Casemiro. Yeah, We're doing yeah, both. Romero. Can we think of <laughs> a third of all guy? the players? Dude, Casemiro gets a, What did he have last season? Three or four red cards? Matty Cash would be my naughty list. No, I think he Dirty tackle. That was one game. <laughs> <laughs> Enzo, that Fernandez, was a vendetta. Enzo Fernandez could be on the naughty list. No, no be, if he's on the naughty list, Moises, if he's on the naughty list, like Gallagher's on the list from, from public, from Lis- like the public Moises Caicedo. No, I don't. Think Hell no, Lissandro could be on the naughty he's list. Ass right Why now? is Lissandro? <laughs> these are players aren't. These players aren't playing. What was it? An international players that aren't even playing. Doesn't mean he can't be on the naughty list. Yeah, we're looking at what is it? An international friendly or something? He's going studs up. Who yeah. on Liverpool? So the staff from earlier was all, that all no, 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 Spurs and Liverpool have, are lead the league in red cards. But who on Liverpool has got? No, there's two in the game against Spurs. But who's like Curtis got one? Verge got two, Curtis one. Jones, man. Curtis Jones could be. That was the most. <laughs> it should the be harshest red. Card realistically, I've ever honestly, seen. it should be like Basuma. Darwin. I think is like the most volatile player. All right, let's Liverpool. go Darwin and Sancho. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Casemiro is way worse than Darwin. But Darwin Casemiro only has barely, one red no, card. Looking at this season, right? Oh, yeah, Darwin yeah, yeah, hasn't yeah, done season. any. Darwin didn't, he good choke, this season. didn't he choke someone out this season? Yeah, was that last? Uh, uh, was that know. last year? The choking? No, that was this. Wasn't that this year? He All right, let's come. Hey, let's he come choked, it's it's and Romero and Sancho, and we need a third, right? Yeah. That's the we're trying to think of. Wait, what's the second? 
Romero yeah. Sancho. Well, Romero was there. Romero was I mean, gets a red card every three games. I could float. Literally. I could float another United name, but no, we're not doing more United players. <laughs> <laughs> I think Anthony's uh, earned his spot on. Oh, uh, yeah. true, true, true. Very true. I don't know if there's others in the league that have uh, similar. Um, dude, I feel like I'm forgetting some. I'm looking at the team list. I'm just trying to think. I know there's someone that's so bad to make play. You know who would have been on there? Fuck. You know who would have been there? Harry Kane. That dirty, for what, flopping? Yeah, no, that dirty motherfucker. He's uh, one of the dirtiest players he, ever in the he, prem. He, the thing where he goes up for a challenge and then stays down and lets the guy... Dirty, go, dirty. That's a very dangerous thing to do. A lot of coaches started to catch on to that at the last few years of his career where they were like, dude, that's legit. Dude, that motherfucker so is dirty. I don't care what anyone can says. Can we go... Uh, can we go Trossard? I mean, if we're looking over the last oh, year, yeah. he had some issues with True. You know, a little bit of his move and his behaviors. I'll go, I'm going to go Trossard for me. Trossard, yeah. Looking at a, a calendar year. I under, I understand. I, I see you the You just vision. said we're looking at now when we bring up Casemiro. Yeah, but he's right. <laughs> now, now he reevaluates and say, oh, let's get yeah, to that. Casemiro didn't do anything wrong from like stirring the shit perspective. He did, uh, he did more of like an on-field thing. Mm. <laughs> I, we should be able to add managers to this, honestly. All right, fine, man. We'll do a manager. Oh, oh, say. the motherfucker from Newcastle. Eddie Eddie Howe? Howe? Oh, the ma- assistant so? manager. The assistant oh, manager. Oh, yeah. That, 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 that guy's like yeah. guy really annoying. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't follow the rules. What's his name? We're going to go Jason James Tyndall. Yeah, Jason Tyndall. That's <laughs> that guy's a loser. How is his name <laughs> Jason Tyndall? That guy's Tindall the biggest. He, he looks so European. He looks like an American football coach to me. That's an, that's an American <laughs> football coach's name. You're right. I agree. He looks very European. He looks European. kind of like Portuguese or something. Mm. Dude, it's so annoying when they pan to the coaches and like he's right. He's just Eddie out Howe's there, he, but he's not. Yeah. He's not near Eddie Howe. Like if yeah. Eddie Howe's here, like he's right here, just outside, like not in his like area. Enough just to out. get a whiff of Eddie Howe's fart, but not enough to be right in his <laughs> yeah. ear. Honestly, no. it's the weird amount of just another it? just another one of uh, Jurgen's proper comments, well deserved and uh, well said. Oh, now that's just insane and ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Now we can do a bit more positive spin. Who are three guys on the nice list? And this is sort of just on vibes alone, you know. Louis Diaz. Louis Uh, Diaz. I don't. Who gives a fuck about Louis Diaz? Dad got kidnapped. What does that have to do with anything? They returned him. (laughs) You're one of those people, man. (laughs) What does that have to do with? Have a little empathy, man. What are you gonna say? I'm barring barring Son from this list. That's easy. That's easy money. Yeah, 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 that's no. He no. No, he's barring. That's actually makes more challenge. I'm gonna go Saka. Saka. He's easily the nicest. He's so nice. Like post match. Yeah, it's easy to be nice when you're that drastically overrated. What did Luis? What did what did Diaz do? His dad got kidnapped. That's horrible. But that doesn't vibes. But it doesn't. He can dance. He's not like a fun guy. Look at him. He's like, oh, this guy's fun. Saka's <laughs> a fun guy, dude. Saka's yeah, yes, he, he, he rode that. Remember at the remember, Euros, he rode that inflatable thing. And in remember, t- remember in the World Cup, he was like, that? "Mr. Grealish, Mr. Grealish." What, oh, how do you think he was oh, like dude, that? For his, the World his TikToks during the World Cup were hilarious. Yeah. I'll go. What's, I would for, say, what's for what's for breakfast? <laughs> Who did the spelling bee? That was funny. That's. Saka, oh, Mr. Oh, none of them knew how to spell anything. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So I'm gonna go. Saka. That was just more Saka. Okay, Saka's I can got, agree on Saka. Saka's, Saka's one. Saka's one. Um, how about? I mean, I, I hate to throw another name out, but Darwin is the happiest oh guy on the God. planet. We're not putting Darwin <laughs> on the list. <laughs> no, he's, a, he's been a shit stir the last week, <laughs> yeah, man. That's okay. Liverpool players are not fun. All right, no, no they're United fun. ones. <laughs> not all. They're all just a bunch of assholes. I think. I think all of Liverpool players. Oh what about, about what about Kulusevski? Hey, hot! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! No one wants to talk to that guy. Uh, I think he's pretty cheerful. I think he's pretty cheerful and nice. If Louis right? Diaz is an empathy pick. That's an empathy pick. <laughs> yeah, that's an empathy pick. I'm gonna go uh, Pedro Porro. No, no. Was he just that's in a great your, one. Dude. He was just in your naughty list. No, 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 no. Pedro Porro is okay. If we're gonna, if we're going off no, joy no. and guys oh are always my smiling, God. he would go, be a great one. Um. Nice this list is tough. Matoma. Oh, Matoma. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, motherfucker doesn't smile. <laughs> yeah, but no, he's well liked. He's nice. Well liked. Despite yeah. that, very well liked. <laughs> Do we have more than one name or is it just Matoma? <laughs> well, we have Matoma and uh, Saka. Saka. And Saka. Oh, yeah, yeah. Saka's a good one. Um, we got to go. We, we, no, we got to go off the book with this. Declan one. Rice. We got we, we to think deep with this one. Yeah, Declan Rice about, is like a boy uh, scout. What about McNeil? From Everton. No, you Glenn play McNeil? for Everton, you're oh. never happy. <laughs> Sorry. John, McG- oh. John McGinn. Sean Dyche? 
Hell no. Oh, that guy's so gritty. He drinks, he's got the, I, he got the shits. To, ten points deducted. He, he drinks too much beer. He literally eats the coal yeah. that they give him. He's like, thank you. This is delicious. <laughs> oh, candy. Yeah. <laughs> His teeth are all black. Oh, how about Unai Emery? Probably the most likable manager in the Prem right now. Eh. Unai Emery. Wait, eh. It would oh, be good right to put now. a manager on this list, honestly. Oh, let me think. Unai who's Emery. like who's like no like a likable like manager would probably be like the Brentford guy. It'd be Brentford. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, exactly yeah. Thomas who it Frank. Would be. Yeah, but no, I was thinking. I was thinking Brentford. I was thinking, uh, what's the striker's name? Mbwemo. Mbwemo. He just offered twelve weeks now. Yeah, yeah but they're not I mean, like Tony's off the market. Who broke his? It's someone. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at relevancy. What do you mean? He's like one of the top. He's top three goal scorers in the league. No, nah, but I think <laughs> I think it should be it should be Unai Emery. You think? Yeah, why? He, he runs why? Out, he runs because, why? because he's such good vibes. Good evening. His team's balling. How out. is he good vibes? He's, he's, just, he's, he's just, just winning. He got, yeah. the, he got the most hate as a Premier League manager. He doesn't ever. know that he's That's good vibes. Because he coached Arsenal. <laughs> he yeah. should have never signed up for that. <laughs> My point is, is like he's having no. a great. He's not fu- okay. Okay. He's at the he peak is okay. of all people not <laughs> fun to be around. Would you get a beer with Unai Emery? Yes. No. Why? Oh my Why god! He I? looks like a villain, dude. Unai Emery? Yes. He's like smiling. Framing it that Maybe. way. I've never makes seen him it, smile. Like that is crazy. You'd get a beer with Saka. You'd get a beer with Mat- well Matoma. I'd get a probably, beer with the Bournemouth coach. Drink. He looks Unai so cool. Emery. Oh yeah. All right. Unai Emery smiled in a moment of disrespect when you already picked Saka. No, no. no, no my my point is, Unai. Listen, Unai Emery. Smile. You're not convincing at a any moment. Of us. But listen, can I give my can I say this point? Say yes, you know who sure. smiles a lot? Jurgen Klopp. No, no, no. You gonna put him on the nice <laughs> list? No, no. Una Emery smiled at a point that Jurgen Klopp would fucking pout. Is when they referenced um, him, pl- like him managing the Premier League, and almost as like a new manager. And he was like, he corrected them and said, "Oh, I actually, you know, was at Arsenal." He laughed about that. You know who would have pouted like a little bad boy? Oh my god, here we go. Fucking Arteta. Jurgen Klopp. Yeah, yep. Jurgen Arteta. Klopp. That's a great <laughs> <story. laughs> Our title would have been on my naughty list. I kind of wish we put him on. Yeah, there, see, I would I would agree to that, but no, Whatever. Mr. Arteta. Stan is no one else here. better coming to mind? Is there no, no one else we can think of that all four of us are like we of agree? A better player. Like go mid table. What is the standings? Is that the standings in front yeah, of you? Yeah, I'm looking. I'm trying to think of every player that plays. Villa. For these Everyone likes Ollie Watkins. Trips. Tri- uh, no, he had no. two stinkers of a performance and doesn't get right. any hate. Right. <laughs> God forbid. The Grinch oh, over here. Roll Jimenez. Raleigh Menez, yeah, oh, that's a guy no. everyone likes. Why, dude? What? <laughs> he's scoring goals. When? He scored last well, game. Okay. Last no game, game bro. Last two weeks, yeah. <laughs> no one knew he was even alive well, before that. I these names from. I'm at least throwing bottom half, to, like, bottom sc- mid-table names. Screw there. the top of his head back on like a bolt. Who are you, at? Who are you offering? I offer people who are just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> To be fair, that's both the rest. Anytime you, you guys offer somebody. Not to go Liverpool, but I'm probably going to go McAllister. Okay, that's fair. He's like a he's like boy scout. We already though. said that though. Yeah. For what? We already said soccer in the same exact <laughs> conversation for the home alone. No, soccer's Aww. been the only one we've been able to agree on for the nice list. So he has to stay. Yes. No, I I agree. I'll do McAllister for the sake of time and. Oh, you know who? If we if we want to talk like nice nice guys, Kelleher. Oh my god! That's crazy. Right. Can you go to, that, go to the next question? Go to the next question. I'm not. I'm so I got to use the bathroom again. I'm gonna pause the podcast. Dude, it was five <laughs> minutes ago. No, no, no. I think this is a that good, shit's this is... so ass. That was an ass <laughs> fucking take, bro. I mean, he's content with being second. It's so funny how probably... how he quickly bro, goes. So, to so now we're congratulating so, congratulating it's... people for being ass. Cut, so you, we're doing. What's the way he's okay? Dean Henderson is ass, and he can be mad about it. You go to your own team. He's not happy. Connor picks his own team more than Tristan does. That says no, a that's lot. not true. <laughs> Pedro Poro was a good pick. That no, one, no, no, I just said no, two no, 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 no. That at that oh, point, oh, yeah, yeah, as yeah, the guest yeah. is here. Um, what do you think, guys? Is that a wrap? Is that was that it? That was it. Wow. That's so who is the third person? I don't think we. I don't think we can think of one. Saka. It's not Una. I know that much. So Pedro Poro. No, uh, no, no, dude. <laughs> Stop saying that, Vicario. Just, Stop, no, maybe it's just likable guys right there. Um, I'd get a beer no, with all of them. No, no. How about how about Declan Rice? I said I was. I think shit, that's, sir. Yeah, no, he's best friends with everybody everywhere. No, he isn't. All People the England guys English like players. him, and all the Arsenal oh, guys oh, like him. James Ward Prowse. Yeah, I was thinking that, but yeah, he, James Ward Prowse looks like an <laughs> elf. What the, what, what the fuck does he do? He looks like an elf. <laughs> He looks like. He does. What does he do? Yeah. What is that? How is he on the nice list? Oh, no, there's got to be something. Let me look at this. He's consistent. The he's nicest, a nice guy. Bro, he's what at, does that have to do he's with at, nice? He's that He's that argument. He's, he's a fucking no, wallflower. No, no, no. If we want to talk, Connor, just Google nicest if, prem players. If, if and we want to talk up. managers. 
Who went to our birthday? That isn't Unai Emery. <laughs> Bernardo Silva. The loot in town Bernardo manager, I think, has got to be one of the nicest guys in the league. Yeah. The shit yeah. he has to deal with, the shit he's up against. Well, look at what, he's, a, he's a good-ass dude, too. He's kind of young. Like, mm. Nicest. Scott, Scott, Parker. Scott Parker. Scotty Parker. He's not in the <laughs> prem. That's not his name. If you look up, if you look know, up nicest, just... nicest prem players, although they might think we mean nicest as in like. Rob Edwards is Luton Town manager. Rob Edwards. Put him on the nicest, list. Just an ordinary guy. Nicest. Out there doing big things. Just a world. guy who likes his bangers and mash on a Sunday. And has been challenging the top top three teams in the Prem. True. Nicest Premier League players. Let's see just who's top five. Son has got to be the one. Uh, there's no one on this list. <laughs> <laughs> no one took the time to put we'll together sub- a list <laughs> of the nicest Prem players. I'm shocked. We'll submit our list to Google. And yeah. I'm sure they'll throw it on It'll there. be a click. Uh, well, Merry Christmas to you and yours as our guest. We'll leave the uh, third guest yeah. up to you guys. Yeah. 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 You guys yeah. let us know in the comments. Comment your own. And, Have a um, warm and wonderful and safe holiday season with loved ones, and may you cherish moments with them and sit by a fire and have a delicious beer. That's all I have to say about and that. And scream at your Premier League club. Scream at your club. Yeah. Yeah. Festive <laughs> fixtures. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Bye.